Hey guys, what's up? Let's go back in time yet again. It's a nostalgic childhood game called The Midnight Rescue. This was actually made in 1989, but I don't think it was put out until 1990. You could play this on Windows 3.0 or uh, the new Apple Macintosh, which had just come out to replace the Apple IIe and IIc. Man, I played the caca out of this at my friend's house. Um, she had a Windows machine before we did, so uh, I always went over to her house to play this. This is pretty good. The master of mischief, Morty Maxwell, wants to make Shady Glen School disappear by midnight. His plan is to use disappearing paint. He has turned five paint brushes into robots and they are now his helpers. That guy looks like a deranged frickin' Dr. Wily or something. And oh my god, I was real messed up, I think, when I was little. I used to think that like his huge bow tie was like a bra of some sort. <laughs> Now that I'm looking at it, clearly it's a bow tie, but man, when I was a kid, the shit was different. <laughs> Alright, and that's us in the bottom there, so let's uh, see if we can crack the case. To avoid being caught, the master of mischief is hiding in one of the robots. If you can save the school, or you can save the school if you figure out which robot is really the master of mischief before midnight. Good luck! And that's like a little version of all the robots that we're gonna see. Oh man. Did I ever play the caca out of this. So I've already played once. Again, I ha kind of have to do this just to make sure that the game works. Uh, and then what these old games usually do is save automatically. So I'll go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll put in my my existing name. Why not? I don't see Slayer fan here, so we're already, we're already set. As a junior, you will not see any new user messages as you play the game. That's fine. I don't need them. So uh, let's start. So here we are. We're in the school, and you use the arrow keys to go by, and you go into the rooms, and all through this game, those robots are gonna, like, shank you. You're making quite a splash around here. That little envelope I just looked at was a clue. That one really didn't say anything, but we have to look for all those little clues. See, like, how that envelope's a little, like, teal, and it's got the symbol on it? We've gotta go around and get pictures of every robot in the place, and... Uh-oh. Hit spacebar, take a picture, and then they blah, they go crazy, <laughs> and they disappear. Now, if you don't take a picture in time, they'll run into you or hit you with something, uh, and you'll lose time and film, so you don't want to let that happen. Been breathing too hard on your reading glass? I think you're working too much. Sir, that is not a clue either. Sometimes you get those fake ones, and it doesn't really help you out. Uh, let's see. Here we go. So the clues are kind of more like problem solving and like memorizing things like that. I'll show you as we go. They're all a little bit different. Shady Glen, March 3rd, 1989. Traffic control workers discovered that hundreds of no parking signs in the downtown area have been replaced by signs that had strange and often confusing messages. It all began when Mayor Janet Sullivan, I think it's page down, right? Pulled into her parking space near City Hall last Tuesday. She noticed that instead of the usual no parking sign, there was a sign that read, Have a nice day and kiss the kids for me. Before she could get into the telephone to call the police, the angry mayor noticed others. Why would you call the police for that? That's a nice message. <laughs> what the hell? There were signs reading, Quiet, please, lizard crossing, and park here as long as you want. Police are still looking for the person or persons responsible for the prank. Then it's going to ask you a question about the thing you just read. So it's kind of like figuring out problems and, again, memorizing what you read. It teaches you to read. You can even go through, like, hard words if you're young. I caused a little trouble here and changed the signs that day. My favorite one was all about what animal crossing the way. It was lizard, wasn't it? All right. So we got one clue. I'll show you how this works now. Uh, so if you hit the tab button, you can go to your notes in the bottom there. You can look at clues. Oh my god. So here's all the robots and their names and how many pictures we need of each one. Uh, and then you can go to your clues. So one clue is a lizard. And then you see you can scroll through the pictures, but we don't have pictures yet except for one of the robots. So we can go look at his, I guess. Uh, where is he? There it is. So see how it says, like, don't get angry, get lost. So angry would be like a clue word. Like, basically, we have to match up the picture of the robot that corresponds with the clues we found. So he has a lizard. So that's one of the clues. See how the three matches up with the three that says lizard? But we don't know if that's enough yet, so we have to go back to the school. We'll have to keep, like, going till we find all the clues. Oh, my God. Are you guys, like, baffled by these kind of games? Holy shit, you must be. It just must be like, what the fuck? Back in Luger's day, when there was barely any electricity, these games sucked. <laughs> I gotta tell you, these games were fun as shit. Anybody in here that's gonna shank me? Sometimes, really, they come up out of nowhere and actually scare you. 
I'm kind of waiting for that to happen, to be fair. September 22nd, 1961. Dear Diary, You know all those reptiles Mr. Sheldon keeps in the science lab? Well, two of the lizards took on a strange new look during science class today. Morty Maxwell tried to pick them up by their tails, and the lizards hurried to crawl away. Suddenly, the lizards were safely under the rock, and Morty was standing there grinning with two tails in his hand. I was really mad at Morty, and I felt sorry for the poor lizards. But Mr. Sheldon said that is how lizards protect themselves. Their tails will grow back pretty soon. They look pretty funny now, though, since I'm used to seeing them with their nice long tails. Signed, Leslie. That kid? How rude. I played a little science trick. The lizards got away. Tell me the best title for this story now, today. This one's a little weird because I feel like some of these could be okay. The best story. I don't know. Tale of Two Lizards? What? Why? That's what I would pick. I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh Oh, figures. See, I thought Lizard would be in it, because it, sometimes they give you, like, these clues that you already have, and then they're like, Haha, you wasted your time. You still have to look at them all, though, because you might miss the one you don't have. Oh, you can jump, too, by the way. If you're not directly in front of the- Oh, hello! It scared the crap out of me, holy shit. Ah! Sometimes they all gang up on you real quick. Um... Oh, man, I have such fond memories of this music. Holy shit. For Mary Poppins opens the door. Don't forget to buy me an evening paper, said Mrs. Banks as she handed Jane two pennies and kissed her goodbye. Michael looked at his mother reproachfully. Is that all you're going to give us, he asked. What will happen if we meet the ice cream man? Well, said Miss Banks reluctantly, here's another sixpence, but I do think you children get too many treats. I didn't have ices every day when I was a little girl. Michael looked at her curiously. He could not believe she had ever been a little girl. That's nice. Mrs. George Banks in short skirts and her hair tied up with ribbons? Impossible. I suppose, he said smugly, you didn't deserve them. And he tucks his sixpence carefully into the pocket of his sailor suit. What a dick. Spank that kid. That's what I say. Uh, Michael could not believe his mother had been a girl. What did Michael think of her having in her hair among with her curls? I think ribbons was the answer, was it not? Yes. We're doing it. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you. My neighbor's name was named Christina, and she had this game. And I literally would come over almost every day after school to play this with her. We had so much fun. And they actually get a little harder, like, the more you save and go on. So we, we had a lot of fun playing this. No cooked peanut butter honey balls. <laughs> Here's a treat that's easy to make and yummy to eat. And best of all, you can make it by yourself. You can make some to give in holiday presents in boxes you decorate. You'll need paper plates, large bowl, wooden spoon, all these ingredients. Peanut butter, honey, dry powdered milk. Is this a real thing? Someone make this, but please don't hurt yourself. Like if this poisons you or something, I'm really sorry. Put the right amounts and the ingredients together in the bowl. Still everything until it's blended. Take a small piece of the mixture and roll it into a bite-sized ball. Place the ball on the paper plate. When the plate is full, put it in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. The candy is even better the next day, but don't be angry if everyone eats it right away. It is so delicious, it probably won't last once it is discovered. Someone make that. <laughs> uh, this treat is very tasty. Everyone will think it's great. How should I not feel if there's no more on the plate? I think it was angry, wasn't it? All right. We remembered. God, this music. Every time I hear it, I'm immediately transported back to when I was like 10 years old playing this. It's so crazy how that shit works. Now you can restore your film here if you need. Uh, I really didn't need to, but I just wanted to show that you could do that. Principal's office. Is there nothing in here? This, game, this room usually has the most clues. Really? You can go up to something to see if it'll actually like do anything. But as you saw there, that one doesn't do shit. Also, if you're not directly in front of the door, you're gonna jump, which is a little bit weird. Hello, Abraham Lincoln! How are you? Down the stairs, yo. Hey! You gotta be, like, right in front of it. <laughs> oh! I don't think we've read this before. And we won't, if we, if we can't get directly in front of it. Watch for a special place in the school to get more film. Bitch, please, we already did that. Uh oh. Get him. Cause I gotta tell you though, when I was 10 years old, sometimes these robots scared me. Like, I, some of them I didn't want to see. Like, especially. I know I should be happy. I mean, how many girls in Shady Glen get a present every day? But this is getting to be too much. 
Today, Morty sent a huge bouquet to me during French class. I wanted to tear off every last petal from every flower in the bunch. And when I saw Morty later in front of the Main Street shopping mall, he handed me a double dip ice cream cone that was half melted. I was so embarrassed that I wanted to hide. I didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Signed, Molly. That sucks. I'm sorry that you had a stalker problem. <laughs> oh, well, I think angry is the clue. And then he's already going to tell us that we have it. You dick. Frickin' Dr. Wiley's corn-fed cousin. That's what that frickin' looks like. I can't believe I- Well, I, back then I didn't know who Dr. Wiley was, to be fair. Mega Man had only just probably started to come out, if not even, like, maybe the next year. I may be down, but I'm not out. I will be back. You didn't even go anywhere. Shut up. You're stuck in one of these goddamn robots. <laughs> the drill team. October 15th, 1966. Before you guys ask, that was way before I was born. The captain of the drill team made an unusual request last Friday. Sarah Williams asked the school staff for a tiny flashlight for each member of her marching team. We need extra light to find our way during the Friday night game, said Sarah. Her blonde bony tail swung from side to side as she spoke. I usually have one terrific idea per week. And I think this is one for the week. It came to me while I was brushing my hair this morning. Some of the girls get pretty scared while we're waiting on the dark part of the football field. If these flashlights don't make them feel better, then I'll cut off my beautiful ponytail, Sarah said, as she blew a huge pink bubble. Very interesting. Oh, shit. Now we gotta figure out this. Why is... How... To be fair, any of these headlines could be a thing. I don't know how you're supposed to choose this one. Girls march in the dark. Group asks for flashlights. I don't know. I almost think it's this one. Yep. Now tell me why. Can anyone figure out like the algorithm they're using here? Or is it just like a guess thing? That's one thing I couldn't figure out. Do we have all the robot? Oh god, no. Jeez, this one I don't like. The roller? Oh fuck. Scared the shit out of me. Did we go in here already? Oh, hello. Oh no. Stop. My god. We did read that, didn't we? So let's check our notes real quick. Thankfully it does pause when you do that. So, okay, so we have all the pictures. And we have all the clues, so let's look. So we have a flashlight, a ribbon, a lizard, and the word angry. That guy's got a flashlight. He's got a lizard. He's got angry, but no ribbon. Next. <laughs> flashlight. Oh, does that hair count as a ribbon, that pigtail hair? Let's just look at the mall to be sure. That's not it. Oh my god, that's scary as fuck. Yeah, this scared the <laughs> when I first played this with her, I was a little scared. I was a little bit of a, a wimp. I'm a I'm still a wimp to things that like come out and scare you. Um, that has not gotten any better. But holy crap, my friend, when I played this with her, she like laughed at me every time because she's like, they're not scary, they're just dumb. I probably should have listened to her. All right, I think it's this one. Let's do it. Is Electro the one that he's hiding in? <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Are you sure? Uh-huh. It's you. I accuse you of being the master of mischief. Yeah, I didn't like these things at all. Oh, and then look at him! It like his- <laughs> Oh my god, I remember this part. It's so weird! And then a huge- <laughs> Oh my god, it's amazing the shit you remember. We did it! Holy shit! Oh man, check out my sick moves. I'm now a junior because I played it once before. My god, so happy. Alright, so that was uh, Midnight Rescue. If you've played this game before, go ahead and tell me in the comments. Or if this reminds you of another game you've played uh, from your childhood, let me know in the comments. I love having discussions about this. And uh, if you'd like to see more retro games from my childhood, and we'll go through them and I'll show them to you. Like I said, a lot of them are going to be short because games back then just weren't very long. So, uh, but you know, there, there will be some that we can make series out of and I'd like to show those to you. So, uh, thank you for watching and... Uh, I'll see you guys next time.